knew that if they caught us, we could be in trouble. Three, two, one. Let me remind you, this is for a place in the grand final. Razor, they have never won the UK domestic title. They are so desperate to win it. S3, who came through the loser's melee, let me remind you, on a judge's decision on damage and aggression. Slammed into by Razor into the CPZ and taking punishment from Shunt, and Razor's beak has penetrated the body of S3. The cylindrical body is held high. I've described this as a hammerhead shark. It is a mere minnow gobbled up by the big fish that is Razor. They were in the right place at the right time. Right and this is a whale of a time for the Razor Boys. And S3 are heading for the depths of despair. And Davy Jones's Robot Wars locker. Sliced by dead metal. And a grisly end to worthy competitors. They fought before a sting, but this S3 machine looked far more competitive and deadly. It's a credit to Pete Orsop and Ian Pritchard and David Barker. And they're still fighting, and they still want more. What a series semi-final this has been. Razor in, chasing and pursuing and nagging. S3 driven against the side wall, into the CPZ, dead metal awaits. The pincers close. You need to get it out from that mess. Razor still on the chase. In comes Shunt with the diamond edge axe. I wonder if we'll see the flourish of victory from Razor. We've become so accustomed to seeing. Pete also a plasterer by trade. Maybe we'll go out and get plastered tonight to commiserate with his friends. And will the celebratory champagne be on the Razor Boys? In squeezed and penetrated and pained S3. Under the cost from dead metal. Still looking for more. Grizzly and grotesque damage is Ian Lewis, a design engineer at the controls of Razor. So experienced. What can you do, S3? They're all after you. Into the CPZ again. The big vertically mounted disc has stopped spinning. The hopes have stopped surely for S3. Damage limitation. Just alive. The clock counts down. Razor squeezes. The judges will have to decide because they Six. are still maneuverable. But we know which way it's going to go, don't we?